You know, interstate drug busts show there is still a market for smuggled medicine. Just last week, Whitfield County deputies stopped at this truck they say was packed with medicine smuggled into the United States from Mexico. They discovered thousands of dollars in medication from birth control to Viagra and antibiotics. But what else is driving this market trend that law enforcement is trying to stop? News Channel 9's Makaya Thurman asks, what's motivating consumers? Makaya. Could the high cost of prescription and non-prescription drugs be driving consumers to the black market? It's a question we took to one UTC economics professor who believes a number of factors could be sending shoppers overseas. Dr. Bruce Hutchinson says consumers face one question every day. Can we get the same product for less? He says the answer to that question determines how shoppers spend their money on everything from gadgets to medications. I guess I would have to consider whether they have the same standards as we do. As the cost of prescription and non-prescription drugs continues to increase, so does the demand for more inexpensive options. What the, is the cost to me of the black market version of this drug versus what is the cost to me if I buy it through a standard drugstore or dist drug distributor in the United States. The Physicians for National Health Program says pharmaceutical companies are largely free to set up their own prices in the U.S., as opposed to other countries where governments regulate prices more closely. It's a process, Hutchinson says, that drives more consumers to more inexpensive options. It's something that, broadly speaking, in economics, we call price discrimination. As with Anything else we buy in our life, we're looking for the best deal we can get. And that desire for a good deal can encourage consumers to be willing to risk their chances with smuggled drugs. You can't say necessarily that one drug is better than the other. What if you're actually getting the same exact product? You may. The potential sentences for drug trafficking depends on the type of drug and the amount of the drug. Of course, that varies anywhere from six months to 10 years. Okay, thanks, Makai.